that's it. <laughs> cool. How you like it? It's got some power to it. Sweet. This is an update on uh, one of my previous builds. This is a uh, home built uh, AR 15 pistol. It is uh, built on a 80% lower. Uh, the upper is from Model 1 Sales. It's a 10 and a quarter inch uh, barrel. Actually, pretty good quality. Uh, when I originally took it out to shoot, I was having short stroke issues with this gun. It would fire two to three rounds and then uh, it would fail to eject the shell. It would stay like uh, like partially closed like that or sometimes just closed all the way. So I hopped on the internet and I did a little bit of investigating and uh, I saw that there was quite a few different uh, mods that people were doing to the gas system. Um, the little port empties into the uh, sight block right there and it goes down the tube and and uh, activates the, uh, the bolt, makes it move rearward. So um, I found various uh, forum posts that showed uh, that people had done modifications all the way up to an eighth of an inch. I um, thought that was kind of excessive and I did uh, read on AR15Barrels.com that um, if you overgas these things they can have a tendency to to uh, pull the backs off of the uh, uh, spent shells or, uh, or really beat up on the uh, extractors. Uh, so I didn't want to go that route uh, my SKS has a pretty big uh, gas port, but that's a, that's a different system entirely. So I thought, okay, I'm going to look around some more. Um, I did find uh, some postings that uh, verified a uh, Colt ten and a half inch barrel guns uh, that they that they do uh, 0 .093 uh, gas ports. And supposedly those could feed just about anything. Um, that is significantly smaller than than an eighth of an inch. Uh, so I thought, you know what? I think I'll give that a try first because uh, it's harder to put material back than it is to uh, to remove it. So I went ahead and uh, Googled up a uh, decimal calculator uh, converter, and I put in. Uh, I had a I put in a conversion to decimal and I found that uh, the .093 uh, converted to a 330 seconds drill. So if you want to do the modification, basically you, you remove your front sight block and you just put your, your barrel assembly in a vise and uh, carefully drill into the into the little gas port. Uh, then put it all back together and you're in business. So if you're having any short stroking issues with your with your short barreled rifles or pistols, um, I think it's pretty safe to say from the two guns that I've done already with, uh, with that modification that the, the 332nd drill bit is, uh, is a decent uh, size. I uh, was cycling uh, Russian 55 grain, uh, well, Russian manufactured 55 grain uh, silver bear, and uh, it it fired completely reliably uh, without excessive recoil. So if you're if you're looking to uh, to do a modification, uh, I think that's a good start. Uh, I could imagine if it if it can fire low powered ammo like that uh, without a hitch. It, it should be able to cycle just about anything.